Welcome to your Sunday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. My one word is heart, and I put my heart into everything I do. And I believe every time you shave with straight razor, you're getting a better shave. Now, in this shave, I'm using my Thierry Zar Bison. Oh, yeah. Beautiful 7 8 blade that is a full hollow, and this is faux turtle. It is excellent. Yes, it is. Really good. Now for our soap. Here we go. We're going Parasso Red. So this is a Sunday Sandalwood Shave of the Day. Oh yeah. Like that stuff. I do. Now before we get started though, I am going to go with some Parasso Red Pre-Shave Cream. Yeah, we're going to get that Pre-Shave Cream going. Yeah, always good. And I do prefer the pre-shaved creams over pre-shaved oils. At least with straight razors. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what your thoughts on that would be. But I found the, uh, like the Parasso pre-shave does a fine job. Yep. <clears throat> there we go nice and I got a little something in my throat so you'll have to excuse me for that one all right now let's go ahead I did just put on the pre-shave but I have had the puck blooming as well because that's my thing that's what I do so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of mix that in lightly just like that because I think it helps I do I think it helps as a pre-shave now for my brush tonight here we go we're talking the Omega 10098 this is marvelous that's a big old bore brush and it really does a fine job it does. So let's go ahead and get that loaded up. All right. So we made it to the weekend. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you're being able to relax, enjoy yourself, have some downtime. Yeah. Be with family and friends. That's always good. Yeah. And uh, hopefully you get some good shaves. Yeah. Are you feeling well? Is the world treating you good? Yeah. Are you got some high spirit? I hope so. I hope so. Because those are good. That is a good thing. Yeah, it is. And uh, hopefully wherever you are, the weather is nice. Here we are getting back to seasonable temperatures. So that means everything's getting even colder than it has been. But that's okay. It's fine. It is winter here, so that's the way it goes. It just happens. All right. I'm going to say maybe we're there. Let me, let me just, I'm going to go just, I put a little more water in there. So let's just go ahead and do just a little tiny bit more. Yeah. Yeah, so I hope you are enjoying the Straight Razor Edge Friday specials. Really... I'm trying to make these more journey based and go throughout the whole thing. Yeah. Because it really is all about the journey. Yeah. And embracing the journey. That is the most important part because it's not necessarily about the finish line. Yeah. Finish lines are good, but this is straight razor shaving. So, I don't know if you ever hit a, a true finish line because there's always something new, always something to try. And that beard's going to grow back. And you get to try new things. Mm -hmm. So, for me, this is truly a journey 
and I hope it can be a journey for you as well. Really, there's not an end to this. It just keeps going and you can keep growing with it and it really is quite nice. Here we go, look at that. Let's get that lather on. You know, we can truly enjoy this. And uh, it's a good thing. And I did not show you, I got my Crown King travel scuttle here so I can have warm lather. Yep. And now that I'm thinking about that, I'm just going to like mash that down in that bowl a little bit and kind of get that that going. Yeah. I think it works better with a little soap in it. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and add some water to this. And kick it up. Yeah. Yeah, so have you been able to get out? Kind of enjoy the great out of doors? Mm-hmm. That would be really nice. Here, it's hit and miss. You know, if it's too cold, it makes it a little rough. So, <laughs> but that's okay. You know, another two or three months and we're gonna be getting some good temperatures again. Yep, no big deal, yep. Oh, look at that. Yeah, buddy. Uh, and that sandalwood has a marvelous scent. I really enjoy it, especially in the cold weather. That is always nice. Now, this is pass one. And for me, primarily, that's going to be with the grain. Yep. Let's do this. Yeah, and all of those angles you just saw on that cheek, that really is with the grain for me, yeah? So, your hair may grow in the same kind of directions, you know, or it may be totally different. There we go. So you're going to have to map out your own beard and figure that out. So you know which is with the grain, which is against the grain, all of that. There we go. 
Nice. Now all of that was basically with the grain as well. And now this is going to be too. Actually, right through there is going to be across the grain. Nice. That's good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Now we're going to switch hands because that's what we do. And I'm finding those moles, so as not to hit them. Yeah. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Good shave. Yeah. Cutting down those whiskers. That's nice. Trying to be real gentle through there, landing with a flat blade as possible. Definitely don't want to come in on that chin with a steep angle. That definitely will be a problem. So trying to come in as flat as possible. Now, we're going to get up underneath that nose. There you go. Pass one complete. And it felt good. It did. Yep. Now. Let's get that rinsed off, see how we did. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that good? Wow, very nice. Now, let's go ahead and we're gonna get our lather on. Yep. Left that a little wet, so we're gonna see how that does. Yeah, as I'm building this lather, I'm rotating that brush to help keep the lather on the brush, yeah. Don't want it to fall off. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's looking good. Hmm.
There we go. All right. Now get those hands dried off. Yep. Now, this is pass two. And for me, primarily, that's going to be against the grain. Let's do this. Nice. All right. Now, that was pretty much across the grain. Right through here, this is going to be against the grain. Working in that divot. There we go. All right. Yeah, chin area can always be a problem, but it can be done. Mm hmm. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Now, switching up that handle. That gives me more control on that vertical pass. Now we're switching again back like this. There we go. Nice. All right. Now we're going to do the exact same thing on this other side. We got the handle switched back. Let's find these before we have an accident. Yeah. There we go. Again, that gives me more control on that. Now going across this way, I switch it up. Because that gives me more control there. So you switch your grip based on which way works better for that particular area.
Nice. Pass two complete. Yeah, good stuff. Now, let's go ahead, see how we did. Mm-hmm. Get that washed off. Oh, nice. Oh, cheeks are good. Mm. Wonderful. Exactly where we need them. Now. Here we go. We're getting our lather on. All right. I think we're there. Mm-hmm. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Time for the half pass. For me, primarily, this is going to be against the grain on my jawline, my neck. Let's do this. Nice. That is good. All right. Here we go. Hmm. <laughs> There we go. Oh yeah, good stuff. Hmm, really is. All right, another shave in the books. Yep. Oh, and it felt like a good one. It did. Let's get that rinsed off. Yeah. Hmm, that is good. No bumps were harmed in the filming of this shave video. Always good. Yes, it is. Now, here we go, though. We still are going to get that face wet because... I always use alum after I shave. This is astringent antiseptic. This is great if you hit a little bump or two. It'll be fine just by itself, even without a bump. Mm-hmm. There we go. Now, I will take this little towel and just dry that off. Fine, fine, fine. That is good. Now, if you can't take alum straight up, go with a cold water rinse followed by witch hazel. In my case, I'm going with the Thayer's, and this is the rose petal. It is marvelous. It is got a very wonderful, unique kind of rose petal scent. 
which is marvelous. And I put that everywhere. I do. I put it everywhere. Yep. Now, here we go. We are going straight to the Parasso Red. And this is the aftershave. I'm using this more as a kind of cologne thing, but it is going to give me a good face feel. It is. And this is going to help. This topped off a Sunday sandalwood shave of the day. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, that is good. Yeah, this Parasso is also like a face lotion. It's just marvelous. Click up here to see my latest video. Click over here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click over here to see. How to start straight razor shaving the series. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.